Should we talk about the weather? Yeah, we will. Um, on a different note, it's turned freezing. I mean, it's very cold today. It's not his fault. <laughs> well, this is the M74 in Lanarkshire. There you are. And of course, snow all across the country as well today. I had a word with my dad earlier on, snow in Durham. But the Institute of Advanced uh, Motoring, Simon, they've offered some little tips, haven't they, before? Yeah, there's... there's them out on the road. There's a link on our website, so you can go on there for further information. But some of the basics that they've given us is if the police are issuing weather warnings, don't go out. Take advice from the police. Don't use uh, country roads or housing estates. They're far less likely to be gritted. And Advanced Driving School have said stay at home. Stay at home. Their advice is don't drive. Clear your windows, right. make sure there's no snow on the cars before you go out and you should be okay. Before you go out, but don't go out. But there's a link on the website. <laughs> Clear the snow off the car and stay indoors. <laughs> and you'll be fine. <laughs> Drive around in a little, uh, you know, little game console. They always say no, ascent, no unessential journeys. What? Who's just going for a spin? <laughs> <laughs> They're all essential. I'm talking of driving as well. I've got some tyre uh, news for us as well. I just want to uh, clarify something from a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I just want to clarify the legal limit for tyre in the UK is 1.6 millimetres. It comes from a film we did a, a while back. Uh, it's across three quarters of the central tyre, so including the central <laughs> grooves and around the entire circumference of the tyre. So you have to check everywhere if you're going to check your tyre. Oh, circumference. Um, <laughs> we've spoken to Tire Safe and the Highways Agency, and they recommend uh, a 20p test. Yeah. If the outer rim of a 20p is still visible when you drop it in the grooves of your tyre, then they advise that it might be an idea to think about getting some new tyres. If you can see the outer rim when you drop it in the groove of a tyre, uh, because it's getting wet now, Anything with less than 1.6 millimetres on, your stopping distance increases greatly, so get your tyres checked. You, you shot that? <laughs> ask your dad. Have you checked yours? <laughs> Definitely, ask your dad or anyone in a HGV. Anyone in a heavy goods vehicle, ask them, they'll know. Okay, alright. Yes. They know everything. Now, everyone's looking for ways to save money at the moment, and more and more people are using internet vouchers that trigger huge discounts if enough people sign up for a particular offer. Now one company, Groupon, is being investigated by the Office of Fair Trading because of claims that savings are exaggerated. Here's Alex Riley. I'm re I'd be weird about that. I think we never discount tickets because if people are paid to see the show and then they're sat next to someone, it's the most annoying thing on a flight. Mm -hmm. If you were at a comedy show and you sat down and went, oh, brilliant, I like this guy, he's really funny, and someone next to you went, I paid £8 for my ticket, you'd be gutted. Yeah, you would. That would take the edge off the evening. So no, no, they'd be, you've got to keep it, they've all got to pay the same, I think. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. that seems fair. Let's have a little look at you and your seventh DVD of uh, being funny. Have no. we found a clip we can play? Well, it, that's not just like, yeah, indeed. Well, let's have a look. See if you're happy with this one. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be short. Enjoy it. <laughs> the first joke there about Weight Watchers on that clip. And, you know, it's not easy losing weight. And I have had complaints about that after the show. I've had a, you know, a woman came up to me after the show who was a larger lady. Big right. boned, you might say. She came up and said, you know, how do you think I feel? I said, squidgy. you? <laughs> you, you've lost weight yourself, haven't you? Oh, bonus joke. Yeah, I've lost quite a lot of weight. I, I was quite... You've lost a lot of weight, yeah. yeah. But it was just for the life on the road. When you're out, is, yeah. Yeah, while well, you're kind of eating late night, and you're eating unhealthy food late at night, kind of being a comedian is quite an unhealthy thing. Because you're up and down the motorways. Yeah. yeah. You know, eating, eating delicious kings, just passing or whatever it is that's, you know, that's open at that hour. But as you say, you're constantly touring. So how well do you know the country, do you think? Pretty much inside out. This I know, going I know, into a game. Into a game. Yeah, yeah, we're going to put your knowledge to the test. Well, I've been to literally every town in Britain. Because I go, I don't do the big rooms, I do every little town. And I go, I like yeah. little rooms. I think the, the smaller the town, the better the responses. Okay. Tends to be on the tour. Well, we've got some little snapshots of places around the UK. If we show you three of them, do you think you'll be able to guess where you are? Yeah, definitely. Why not? Okay. Pick up that little okay. there. Just, just give, it a, give it a ring. What? what? It's what? a reception down the hotel. I love it. Okay. <laughs> 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 Here we go. Right, there yeah. we go. So, we, so uh, let's have a little look here. You performed here the 29th of January 2009, 22nd of September 2011. Uh, Lenny Henry was born here. It's seven oh, miles it's away. It's Dudley. Dudley. It is Dudley. It's Dudley. Dudley. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, okay. That's it. It's, not, it's a nice... Hey. Yeah, nice. Right. Dudley, yeah, the town hall in Dudley is where I play. It's really nice. Totally different from Birmingham. About, it's, uh, how far did you say? It's no distance. Seven, seven miles. miles. The same place. Okay. Exactly. Here's the next one. Have a little look. Okay. Okay, yeah, well, we all know. Yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, got, got, yeah, got it. Yeah, I've got it. Inverse. Straight away. Inverse. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. You are good. Inverse. Lock next one. Yeah. Three. Well, of course, if you're a comedian as well, you're, I'm on stage for two hours a night. The rest of the day, I'm traipsing around the shops. <laughs> Yay. Looking <laughs> for deals. Yeah. <laughs> deals on Groupon. <laughs> so many, yeah. Let's see if we can bankrupt this baker. <laughs> Okay, well, well um, we have. You did very well. Two to two. <laughs> two, to two. Brilliant. I know. Two, to two towns in Britain. <laughs> well, from Inverness to Somerset now, and the Heath family, who got in touch with us recently because they had a mystery 
that needed solving. Yeah, time to send in Detective Dilger. <laughs> As you said in the film there, magpies, they're from a particularly clever family. The Crow family are enormously clever. We'll think parrots or...